Namaste yogis and everyone else who happens to be watching. <laughs> when I say yogis, I just mean people who are seeking balance or seeking inner understanding, inner reflection, inner guidance, connection with truth. And today I'm going to teach you a sequence that I often use for a warm-up in my yoga classes. I like to combine this system, which is from Qigong, and Qigong is like the Chinese version of yoga. It has the same intention of bringing balance between strength and ease, doing and non-doing, inhale and exhale. And when we find the balance between the opposites, then we stand in the center and we stand in clarity, we stand in peace, we stand in wisdom, we stand in health. So it's all about acknowledging the duality and bringing them together in balance. I think these are useful understandings in our world today, don't you? <laughs> okay, so without further ado, the eight pieces of brocade, an ancient, ancient, ancient sequence, which some say if you do every day, <laughs> you fix everything. I like that idea, don't you? Okay, let's do it. So we start as though we're doing a Tadasana, the typical um, mountain pose in yoga. Take a deep inhale and open the arms out to the side. Bend your elbow and then turn the palms and ground your energy into the earth. Then take a little step, maybe six to eight inches apart parallel and put a soft bend in the knee. Interlace your fingers and extend up through your arms. The quality of the movements that we'll do are fluid soft, present, and breath guided. So we'll just start to rotate around and I'm going to use the word squidge because it conveys the quality in which you go into your edge. You don't go into your edge with strain. And what is your edge? Your edge is how far your body will go. But you don't go there with strain. You go there with softness and curiosity. And I like to use the term from yoga, beginner's mind. That just means I'm not moving into something with a preconceived notion of how it will feel or look like or be. Each moment is new. Like Lala Kashmiri's poem. And I saw the ocean continuously creating. And when I scoured my mind and body, I too was new, each moment new. And then we'll open. And we'll do this movement in between each of the eight movements. Now we'll do this movement again. So we need to step to the side and put a bend in the knee. And this one is similar. We're going to revolve and press one hand down with a flexion and one hand up with a flexion and do a spiral in between. Keeping that fluid breath and that feeling, sensing, awareness, whole body awareness from how my weight is on my feet to the stretch of the ribs and armpits, stretch in the fingers and the wrists feeling of the spine rotating, of the organs getting wrung out. So many different perceptions are there in the moment when you just open to receive them. When we're present. So it's a moving meditation of learning to perceive what is and also to make adjustments when we find ourselves in any kind of an imbalance. Coming back to center. The next step is a big step. So I'm going to compensate by stepping over and swing this leg out, come into horse stance. And this one's a bow and arrow movement. So we'll reach across, pretend you're pulling on a bowstring and shooting an arrow. Staying low in your legs and moving through your maximum range of motion that doesn't involve struggle, that doesn't involve straining. So learning to integrate through all your different parts of body, mind, and spirit in a harmonized flow, 
with breath, with healing awareness. And I really experienced when I learned this sequence that it really helped to really finalize a healing of a shoulder injury that I had been doing physical therapy on for quite some time. So I find it to be profound. The next movement starts with the fingers pointing toward each other right around the navel area, palms up and elbows out. So I'm really rotating my elbows out. Then the elbows are going to rotate in, the palms will turn down, and the forearms will rotate back as far as they'll go. So you're actually rotating that arm bone in the shoulder joint as well. And you're just turning your neck gently on the top of the spine. Coming back to center, elbows out, other side, elbows in. Eyes and cheeks and jaw soft. Perceive an ease right at the top of the spine where the neck, the neck and the head meet. It's a subtle small movement, but you're really getting into those small intrinsic muscles, ligaments, tendons, nerves in the neck, shoulder, elbow, wrist, chest and upper back as well. Feeling how everything is connected in a flow, in a harmonized, integrated flow with breath. And here we go, this movement in between, closing the feet as you ground the hands down. And now we'll do another big step. So stepping over a little bit, lifting the leg out, opening it out to the side. Now place the hands on the thighs, come down in your legs, take your shoulder across towards your opposite knee. Let the neck release as you swing across. And then facing in that direction, roll up fluidly and look up, lifting the chest. Go back the way you came. Moving with as much ease and fluidity and awareness as you can. There's really so much going on here that I'm feeling. Make sure you're really relaxing the neck. And it's really a nice feeling on the back and on the neck. One more round. And then we'll step the feet together again and ground the hands down. Now we'll take another little step, put a little bend in the knee, place your hands on your belly, slide them around to your kidney area, just below the ribs, down the back of the leg, make contact, bending the knees to relax over, and then swoosh up like you're tossing something away. Nice and easy. Swoosh. Effortless. Flowing. Moving with the least amount of muscular tension, strain, struggle. And of course, you're always avoiding anything that causes you pain. Some of you may not go down as low. Some of you may bend the knees more. You may take it a little slower. Be sensitive to how your body is responding. And this is the last one. And we'll open and close back to center, grounding down. Now we do sort of a halfway big step. Put the bend in the knee. And make a soft fist Extend it out on the diagonal, pulling the elbow back to open the chest, and then spiral the fingers and pull in. Soft fist, spiral, pull in. 
saw this spiral pull in. Saw this spiral pull in. Rotating the ribs, stretching the chest and shoulders. And imagine you're pulling positive energy into your center. One more round. And we pull ourselves back to our midline and ground. The very last movement in this eight pieces of brocade is we'll rise to the toes and hover and simply drop. Rise to the, po the toes and hover and drop. So that dropping action is totally relaxed. You're letting everything vibrate. Now, of course, if you are on the second floor, if you have people below you, you might want to go easy. Now we do it small and fast. Drop, 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 drop. Let everything jiggle. Feel all the cells shaking off their toxins. All the lymph nodes releasing their toxins. There. Thank you for joining me for the eight pieces of brocade. I hope you consider applying it to your routine. It's a wonderful therapeutic moving meditation that has so many benefits. Namaste.